Well, sometimes as a footballer, you have to get used to playing in a downpour. That could be the case this evening. The rain has been lashing down. I'm Derek Ray, and joining me to provide expert analysis is Stuart Robson. And everyone here on Tenterhooks, you'd have to say with good reason. It's AFC Wimbledon against QPR. Well, Derek, as is always the case, the team that dominates midfield would be the team that controls the flow of the game. And that, for me, is the area that's key today. Well, fine use of the ball. Chair. Well, that's really strong play to keep hold of the ball. It might be the moment to get them ahead. Davison and does well to keep it in play well read to ease the pressure and space to cross it And you've got to say, they're good value for the lead. Well, just look at the setup here. It's such a clever back hill, and the finish is clinical. He just makes it look so easy, doesn't he? And back underway, 1-0 it is. Harry Pell. Woodyard. Can he take the chance? Well, not troubling the goalkeeper at all there. And from that sort of distance, you should be troubling the goalkeeper. Technique let him down there. Stefan Johansson. Still looking for space. Under a fair bit of pressure. And intercepted there. Well, the stats show us that the hosts haven't had that much of the ball. But when they have had it, they've looked so dangerous, particularly when they press high up the field, win the ball back in those areas, and then counter-attack quickly. More defending for them to do here, though. Chair. Jimmy Dunn. Do they mean business on this occasion? This could level it. Oh, but the keeper with an important save. How important is that? Well, he should score from there. That's a wasted opportunity. He should beat the keeper from that sort of distance. Now the delivery, the clearance wasn't decisive. Well, the referee trying to play advantage there, but it wasn't forthcoming. And the managers will now deliver their half-time team talks. We're at the end of 45 minutes in this game. 
Well, quite simply, he hasn't been able to make his mark an attack in this game, Stuart. Yeah, he's just... And they... So, back underway here, into the second half. possession Alex Woodyard now moving the ball impressively here can he put it away that is a tackle and a half Jamal Lowe. And so 30 minutes left for play in this one. Now, who can he play it to? Davison. Pressing high to win the ball. And there it is, the goal they wanted for security. They lead by two now. They can breathe that bit more easily. Well, it's a very simple finish in the end, but his movement was really good. He just found himself a bit of space in the box when it mattered most. So back underway with the scoreline standing at 2-0. Jimmy Dunn chair a chance to whip it in good tackle it'll be a throw and they're making a change number 14 Chris Martin to be replaced by number 9 Lyndon Dykes Session of a corner here. Playing it short. Could be. And it goes to reduce the deficit. Still very much alive. Kicking. Yeah, here's the setup play. Well, it's a great little back heel, isn't it? And he makes the finish look so easy. What a good goal that is. So the ball is rolling again. 2-1 the score. What's going to happen next? Curry. It's with Pell. Woodyard. Ten minutes to go. And Little. He's showing a real will to win the ball. Powell Dykes five minutes remaining and one thing is certain no one is leaving because it's still close well shortly we'll hear the final whistle the home side with the lead Stuart what have you made of this well they should have had this wrapped up long ago some of their football has been excellent but they're going to need to be resilient in these final few minutes to get their much deserved victory
And three minutes of stoppage time to be added on. Chair. Blow has it. How can they turn one of these attacks into a goal? And the keeper more than equal to it. So making the substitution now. A corner then, and with time running out, they've got to ask questions. Oh, a goal! That levels it in the closing phase of this game! Well, let's look at this again. It's a decent delivery into the box, and it's a comfortable finish in the end, which is made to look so easy. It's a lovely goal. And that is the whistle for the end of the 90. Nothing at all to separate these two.